call it Ukrainian music, the story of passion, struggle, and hope. And um, I was, uh, I'm trying, I, I will start with maybe a kind of a somewhat shocking statement, <clears throat> but that was the reality, and that's how I live, and that's how many people around me also live. I was born and grew up in Ukraine when it was part of Soviet Union, and it was a time when all things Ukrainian, including language, music, and art, were considered derogatory, lower class for peasants and not worth pursuing. It was a time when Ukrainians were discriminated against and persecuted. A lot of it I witnessed personally and uh, as I was growing up in a dissident, dissident environment. None of my parents, friends, show up for my first birthday, for example, because the day before most of them were arrested as Brezhnev started a new wave of cleanses, cleansing a Ukrainian intelligentsia. My grandmother spent 25 years in Russian prison as a political prisoner. My grandfather, after spending 31 years in Siberian concentration camp, died there, and I never had a chance to meet him. My father, after Ukraine's independence in 1991, became one of the most celebrated graphic artists in the country. But during Soviet times, he was not allowed to enter a single work in any of even smallest and insignificant exhibits in the country. I grew up not being allowed to compete in the children's competition, violin competition in Soviet bloc country, Czech Republic, because I was considered a child of an enemy of the people. It's all different now. There are streets in Ukraine named after my father and my grandparents, Document documentaries made and books and dissertation are written about them. But the reality was different when I was young. Nevertheless, I consider myself lucky as I grew up amongst great musicians, artists, intellectuals, who as shocking as, my, as, as it might sound, were living in the similar circumstances or worse than mine. And I'm grateful to have this opportunity to tell you their story. So thank you for this invitation. Music always has been uh, at the heart of Ukrainian culture. And Ukrainian folk music is very rich and deeply embedded in every Ukrainian, a single Ukrainian. The most vivid memories from my childhood are when all of the members of my extended family sang Ukrainian folk songs in four voices at every family gathering. I used to know dozens and dozens of them. My mother and my aunt no hundreds with a huge members with a huge numbers of verses for each song. I remember my father and myself didn't have such extensive knowledge of lyrics, so we just lip read my mother's and sang the melody along. Most Ukrainian songs are in minor mode, and most of the lyrics are about leaving home and loved ones to go to war and never come back. They express pain of farewell, hope for safe return and at the end, despair of the lost. Basically, the 20-year-old 20 songs are still about the situation that Ukrainians are experiencing right now. I'd like to play for you a song that became a symbol of protest in 2014, as first students were being killed on Independence, in, uh, Independence Square in Kyiv. So this song is called Plevekacha. 